What's good friends, it's Jonathan. Welcome back to uh, you know your daily dose of hotness. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the iPad Pro. The iPad is easily one of Apple's greatest innovations ever, and for good reason. It's a fantastic product. I love my iPad Pro. Even if I don't use it every single day, it's easily one of my favorite pieces of tech that I've ever owned. That said, there's one thing that really takes away from this experience and downgrades it a little bit. We're gonna discuss it, and I'm gonna show you how you can fix it. The Apple Smart Keyboard Cover has never been my preferred typing solution on any iPad, but the one for the 2018 iPad Pros takes the crown for being the absolute worst in my humble opinion. The connection between the iPad Pro and the Smart Keyboard Cover is very weak. Whenever I try to readjust it in one of the two only available viewing positions, many times the cover will slide and become disconnected. The keys are mushy, but also shallow at the same time. It's really hard to explain. They don't really have a hard touch and instead feel like they're typing on an old school holographic basketball card. The keys lack any kind of feedback or travel and I find it to be impossible to get in a good groove for fast typing. It shows off scratches and scuffs very easily. It's not comfortable to use on a lap. Plus no backlit keys at this price is just insane. The only two things I would say this keyboard has going for it is A, being incredibly slim, and B, the smart connector connection allows for a zero lag, perfect response experience. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like having a good keyboard is detrimental to creating a great iPad experience. There are third party solutions out there that are better than the smart keyboard cover, but you're gonna make a sacrifice when it comes to size. Let me introduce you to the Bridge Pro, the future of the iPad keyboard and the bridge between a MacBook and an iPad. Right off the rip, you can see cosmetically, this thing blends in with the iPad completely, making it look like some kind of iPad MacBook Frankenstein hybrid. It comes in both the silver that you see here and space gray with a starting price of 149 for the 11 inch and 169 for the 12.9 inch. It's not as thin as a smart keyboard cover, but it's significantly thinner than the competitors out there. It's very close to being as thick as a 15 inch MacBook Pro. It does add a little over a pound to the 12.9 inch iPad Pro because it does have a built-in battery, but honestly, it's still extremely portable and lightweight considering. It brings a clamshell style design, and when opening it up, it raises up the back end to angle the keyboard for a better typing position. The keys remind me of the older MacBook Pros with the chiclet style keyboards. They have good travel, a great tactile feel with a hard surface, and despite being kind of cramped, I'm still able to speed type just fine. The keyboard has three levels of backlighting and full controls, including a Siri button and a home key. The iPad can even be flipped for a movie viewing mode and you can use it while the clamshell is closed. Even better, the Bridge Pro works great on a lap and offers basically the same experience that you get from a laptop. It connects through Bluetooth 4.1 or if the battery is dead, it's possible to connect through USB-C to USB-C and then use the iPad Pro's battery to power the keyboard. Fortunately, the Bridge Pro can last up to 12 months on a single charge depending on your usage, so I really haven't run into this problem yet. While the Bridge Pro fixes nearly every issue that I have with the smart keyboard cover, there are a few quirks and things that I think need to be improved. The hinge isn't bad by any means, but I wish it were a little stronger to reduce the wobble when touching the screen, especially when you're using it on your lap. Removing the iPad is really easy, but placing it back in involves some getting used to. It needs to be pushed in and positioned perfectly for it to line up correctly when closed. The only other gripe is that there's a minor delay when waking up the iPad Pro. I'm pretty sure this comes down to the battery saving feature of the Bridge Pro versus the actual Bluetooth connection. Regardless of any flaws, this is the missing link to creating that MacBook-like experience on your iPad in terms of hardware. Once iPad OS is pushed out for a general release, the Bridge Pro will only add to an already fantastic experience, making the iPad Pro more functional, capable, and reliable as being a MacBook replacement. Friends, what are your thoughts? Have you ever used a Bridge product? If you haven't, I highly suggest that you check them out. Click the link in the description, take a look, see if it fits your lifestyle and your needs, because personally, this has changed the entire experience of my iPad Pro, and I love it. If you guys like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more content just like this, and I will talk to you boss banging bridge behemoths in the next video.